morning everyone today we are here in Punta Fuego and this is the most affordable unit that you can find here literally the golf cart can just come until here and they cannot drop you in front of your doorstep except when you are here okay let me show you around since I don't see any decent video about this resort although this might not be the decent one that I'm looking for also but I can tell you about this place from my two night stay here in Punta Fuego so what Punta Fuego is is it's a resort very near Cailabne and it is like uh, for members and non-members alike so right now I can show you some of the view that you can see from the balcony or the veranda that looks like that and that's also the part where you can go down and actually swim but to tell you honestly the entire resort is not uh, equipped with lifeguards or safety officers so when you are swimming in the beach area where we will get to in a while if you are not confident that you will survive the swim, I suggest you have a swimming buddy with you. Because like no one's really going to save you. Wow, look at that yacht. Wow, the baby yacht. So Punta Fuego is a development that also has the residential. So the residential area is exclusively for owners and their friends. They are not supposed to be rented out. There are signs that this place should not be rented out all over the area. So where I'm going right now is the main lobby. This is the restaurant area. When you enter that passage, you are worthy of eating or having your hotel breakfast, dinner, lunch. And it is the best spot to actually overlook Punta Fuego. I'm just gonna take the elevator. Let me show you where the elevator is. So this is the passageway going to the resto. Your hotel buffet is open from 7 a.m. to 10 or 10.30 a.m. And this is the buffet area. As you can see, the time is not at seven, so no one's here. That's the air conditioned area. And this is the El Fresco. See the infinity pool and the bay area. About the food here in the breakfast. I say not so much variety, but the food is good. There, infinity pool. And you can see the sunset here at around 5 p.m. So this is the bar. That's the bar. And that's the main lobby. That's where you get dropped off and you leave your car somewhere there. You can also find the lift. The lift is on this way and there's actually a an ATM machine here but are you guys ready yeah not only in Naya but also okay that's the elevator good for four people I just take the stairs just to show you what is happening here so the bar is also here that was the other bar and oh what the heck it's online yesterday it has it was offline okay, that's the main lobby so basically the lift is just really for the oldies Good morning this is the main lobby this is the first site you'll see when you exit <gasps> Ooh, the infinity pool, the yacht, 
the houses or the hotels in the cliff. This is the main building, kiddie pool. There's another pool right below that. that. See, that looks like just one, but that's one, two. Then call for the shuttle going to the, the main beach. Takes about uh, two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's a golf resort as well. Very exclusive, not so many people. But this is a little hassle, like this golf cart brings you around to the units. But, you know, you only have like three units here and just a few drivers. And the downside is, you see that person in blue? There, let me zoom in. Oh, there. So he's a guard and a driver at the same time, which makes his life miserable. So... They're not so happy, they're not so energetic. They are like, what the heck is this guy gonna call me again? So there is that kind of effect that's going on. Maybe because I didn't give tip. But you know, if he was smiley and happy, happy vibes, then I would have given, but it seems to be not improving. So there, the parking, you get dropped here check in and then you ride this again and then you go to your room so since i wanted to go to the beach using the shuttle i need to just request it here which is just another process is this shot i'm going to the beach going to the beach okay see not the people here are not so friendly <laughs> that's the thing this one is like all covered in plastic because you can ride this even though you are wet yeah but the restaurant here you cannot eat here in your sleeping clothes yeah just like other hotels and you cannot also wear swimming attire or wet you need to freshen up before you go and eat see these are the golf area golf course right beside the beach so it's like a puerto azul kind of feel but it's not a lot of people can ride this so i guess one two three four five if they're sexy very exclusive place like like i feel bad riding this truck because it's so noisy because every time this truck actually pass by yeah it's it's gonna wake up everyone and then when you look at the houses here most of the houses have their own yacht not just one but two not just small but huge that's also very cool aspect of this place i don't know why that army navy thing is there there are more and more houses are being developed here so walking yeah possible but it will take you maybe a good 20 minutes oh and I'm just going to tell you what happens when you get to the beach area. It's also quite interesting what happens there. So I will also tell you what you need to prepare before coming to the beach. And I heard that you can also do day tour, which is consumable, like 1,400, 1,500-ish. So yeah, and that place, yes, I'm gonna go through that. And this is the other restaurant, Italian restaurant. Sir, thank you so much. And this is where you get dropped. Bye-bye truck. Uh, this restaurant. This is a, an Italian restaurant. So they have pizza, pasta, but they have no rice. So if you're going to eat rice, you need to go to that restaurant in the hotel itself. El Fresco, there's no aircon, but you can order like beer, shakes, juice, water, and soda. And this is the place where you get down. And then what happens here is, uh, I was actually a bit surprised when it happened. Uh, when you get down here, you will need to list in the logbook, like what is your unit, how many are you, and one person's name. So I said, why? Then they said, just to know where you are, which also makes sense, but without them explaining, it didn't make sense. So it was a bit weird. It was like, reminded me of like pandemic, like you have to write down your, your personal detail before you enter the 
of the venue, so which is a bit weird. And what's also weird is this is the uh, the changing room, the men's locker, the women locker. Right now, the women's locker, uh, the men's locker is on renovation. So instantly, this becomes all gender locker, which is funny because there's no one bantai, you know. So we literally had to ask one of us to stay outside and stop the woman from entering. So that's very interesting, right? So it's going to be a, you know, there's a toilet inside, there's a locker room inside. So, yep, enough of that. This is where you get the towel. What's also interesting with this place is, uh, it's my first time to experience. So if you borrow the towel, make sure you keep it clean and make sure you can use it later on when you come back just to you know freshen up in the all gender locker room because if you borrow this again you will need to pay 50 peso and i've never experienced that in my life so that's also interesting i don't know if it's just for the uh, business side of it or the environmental side of it but take good care of it when while you can so temporarily out of service yeah they should have made a plan before they did it mini golf kiddie area outdoor shower and the beach and the resto and there's also a swimming pool there but let me i'll show you around this area this might not be the most beautiful video but this might be the real the most accurate one so make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow for more and I'm not supposed to say that. This is the place where you rent your gears. So what can you rent here? Right, what do we need when we are doing uh, our snorkeling? Of course, we need our snor snorkels and life jacket. And they only have that. They don't have other stuff. They don't have the fins. Oh, they have that board thing. So they do have a few of the things, but yeah, they only have the over face type of let me show you zoom boom you know that one so it was actually nice so make sure to bring a toothpaste just to uh, put a layer on the mask itself for it, so it will not be foggy and you can also do water activities such as jet ski and the uh, crystal board and stuff like that that's also another outdoor shower in the restroom it says here uh, barado sa kabila ang CR meaning the CR is clogged <laughs> the reason why it's closed because it's too early yeah I came too early uh, the beach here at least the main beach is open from 6 to 6 so all these things will be transferred there when it's time and when it's there then you can actually charge it to the room and you need to sign some waiver for everyone here just so that they won't have to pay for your death related financials <laughs> also rooms or houses here i think these are like private ones this must be the main ones the main attraction for the big boys volleyball area or beach ball area see the kayaks here available Jet ski available, like jet ski, 2,000 peso per 15 minutes. So I didn't even bother looking how much this is per minute. <laughs> and this is the place actually where you can borrow the snorkel and the equipment. And see this, no lifeguard on duty. No dogs allowed, no cooking, no glass container, no smoking, no overnight camping, no fishing. No swimming after 6 p.m. There. Okay, here we go. This is the parking area for the jet ski and some of the boats. Uh, it's seven, so low tide, low tide. Now I'm gonna tell you about my experience of this wonderful beach. So right now there's no one here, which is perfect. Uh-huh, taking photos. Uh, make sure to bring these items number one bring your slippers because 
it's full of coral and rocks and the current is there too so if you're not a good experienced swimmer you will panic you will panic because of the waves so eventually our friend got injured scratched <laughs> but not fallen still alive and kicking i think it's always a good idea to bring a wetsuit purchase a wetsuit when you are going to the beach like it's different from the swimming pool it also keeps you warm and also protects you from the jellyfish and stuff like that oh what happened here what oh Ooh. now we are in this crystal clear beach area low tide right now usually the water goes up to there uh what i can tell you uh to look out for uh, is stepping on sharp objects because this area is okay but just go there then you will be welcomed by some coral rock formation that will be quite painful when you hit them uh what's nice is also that yes lots of fish plenty of fish and as compared with my recent trip to Batangas, Mabini, just for free diving, this place does not have so much jellyfish, nor the plankton biting you like crazy. So we are here in, this is what, March? It's very nice to swim here. It's so clear also, so much fish. I'll just put some fish photo here. And <clears throat> I don't know if, I was really lucky. I was just swimming here. <laughs> then I met Mr. Turtle. Huge sea turtle. I was also surprised as much as that turtle was surprised. <laughs> and uh, I didn't have long fins. Yeah, that's one thing. You th they don't have long fins. They also don't have aqua shoes. So it's very good for you if you would invest in aqua shoes and also bring a fin because it is quite boring if you cannot speed up and another tip is you can bring a piece of bread from your breakfast so you can feed the fish you can feed them there are some sea urchins here but uh, a bit on the deep side so no sea urchin in like at least for the next 15 meters that's good oh yeah and then there are giant clams giant clams let me show you the giant clam here yeah it's a sanctuary for giant clam so you don't have to travel five hours or six hours to um 100 island you can just come here and see them and it's a lot reachable so they're not in the deep deep area so you can actually see it breathing you know trying to stay calm and live longer life <laughs> I know it is a good place oh I don't know what's that pipe for but we have a pipe <laughs> not so much trash there are trash oh 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 sea urchin what are you doing here Mr. Sea urchin all right I couldn't find any stick so we're just gonna kick you okay bye bye and i didn't even reach that boundary it's a bit far to tell you honestly without the fin so i think you're gonna survive come back in nice uni zero people this beach is open from 6 to 6 pm and another tip is the price for the equipment so they come in combo yeah for the snorkel and the life jacket they come in package 200 peso per four hours bring your water also you can buy it here because there are some sales ladies that would stay here i don't know how i don't know if they're directly from the resort or not but yeah they will sell you some water but in a very expensive price so water in this hotel room it's not unlimited so they give you two bottles of like 350 milliliter 
water bottle, plastic. So pro tip is either you don't drink a lot, but you can actually bring in water from outside. Others are like, they're gonna give you cartridge. It's either you bring a lot of water or you can refill your water bottle in the restaurant. I tried asking for extra water from the restaurant there in the main lobby. They wouldn't give me. They would charge me like, how much is it? 75, 85, which is crazy bonkers because regular Coke is uh, 95. Your water is like 85 or 75. It doesn't make sense. Bottom line is bring your aqua shoes or your fin. Hey, and water. You need those. Got it? You can thank me by hitting that like button. As, as I've said, this is not going to be the most beautiful aesthetic video, but it is going to be like straightforward what I really felt during my stay here. So when you're done swimming, you can freshen up again in the all gender all gender locker room and the lockers the keys are with someone and they cannot seem to find it so what's wrong here hi nako i think the management has problem <laughs> i think so because like people don't know what to do here like they would normally say like oh sorry sir uh the one in charge is not here oh, sorry sir i think the key is somewhere some with somebody else I know. Oh, that's so funny. Hey, since we're here, let's try to go up that platform. And I hope I don't fall. Oh, every time I walk, the sand is just going all over my shoes. Let's go. Oh, oh. so this is this is where people who can afford 2,000 peso per 15 minute jet ski ride can are worthy of climbing up oh, are those like fish they look like tadpoles but they're not tadpoles they are saltwater fish okay oh that's a big fish there you see them you see those no yeah me too i lost them oh there 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 you see them today's my last day so i decided that i'll leave a memory for me and also probably in the future maybe i can come back so i can just re-watch this video and remember what to bring <laughs> there are also fun stuff in the room but i have a okay this is the bottle yeah this is the bottle this is the one bali pure oh it's 500 okay i took 350 correction correction so this is the bottle that you should bring just to refill before you come to the beach okay yeah, I didn't want this video to be this long. But anyway, who's gonna watch this, right? <laughs> wow. And we are going to the swimming pool area here in the main beach area. Okay. Actually, I have no problem with the locker. Mm hmm Yeah. I have no problem with the locker, actually. The locker is so good. But if it becomes an all-gender one, What the heck? So there's only one <laughs> cubicle that has men. Yeah, this place looks actually good when it's all turned on. Maybe I'll just show you that. Let's try that. No, oh, see, it actually looks classy and nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the hair dryer is not working. This is the Italian restaurant and this fountain, it will work later on. I've seen it working, trust me. And then, there, the swimming pool, kitty pool. Actually, it's good, right? There's a hump, not so super car friendly. Mm, mm. Okay, I just need to go away from that 
Is it going to hit me? Don't hit me. Ow, it didn't hit me. Yay. Mm, this is where they drop off the yacht. Oh. Look how clean it is. And there's actually a, a way here. Probably where you can walk around, do your jogging. Oh yeah. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> I'm the king of the world. <laughs> there. Sun is rising. It's another day. Wow. Look how clean it is. It's so clean, even though it's the pier area. Mm. Like you can see that it's been deserted. I don't know if that's functional. I don't think so. And this exclusive village has unlimited construction going on. So you will hear people like, pak, 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 pak. yes. Oh, actually, I want to go there. Let's try to go there. There's a lagoon where we might be able to find some fish. Here we go. This place seems to be closed, but I'm here. And I, the, FYI, I don't think this is part of Punta Fuego. Oh, there are so many ill looking things. You see those black things? What are they all doing here? Oh my goodness. They are all here. Is this even moving? Ah! Hezams, sea cucumbers are all here. And there are a lot of fish too. They're all panicking because what the heck is that dude doing here? All these are sea cucumbers and we can see lots of fish here stuck here i guess the water really hits hard here or probably this goat gets submerged oh interesting oh sorry guys i'm not gonna pick you up there are too many like there you go sea cucumber too like koreans would eat anything my companions would see this they would say, like, let's sashimi it. Oh, what is that? You see that? What is that? Cool. Yeah. Oh, there's a sea snake there. You see the sea snake? Hmm. Let's try to throw something there. Okay, I don't think it's a sea snake. If it were a sea snake, it would have run away. Starfish, action happening. Yeah, it looks yucky, but they are harmless. Hi, I don't know if some of you are still watching, but this is actually cool to explore area where other people don't usually go. Mr. Crab, you have been spotted. Are you alive? Oh, you are alive. Oh, you are alive. Oh my God, you're huge. Hello! Are you gonna bite me? Yeah, please don't bite me. Okay, just stay there. Bye bye. This is the main house, main building where you have the restaurant and the check in counter. And this is the infinity pool. Yes, infinity because it starts from there, it goes here, and all the way there, and it connects to the sea. Beautiful, like, who owns that one? <laughs> this is the extra mini beach. You can go if you are too lazy to take the shuttle, which just takes like five minutes. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is the restaurant. Forgot the name. Looks like this. Okay, let me start from there. Oh. So, pastries offering. Ooh. Oops. Again. There. Some stuff like that. So, those are the pain for your snorkeling. And then, some Filipino food. Then, There we go. Fruits. 
and salad, cold cuts. Milk. <laughs> and arroz caldo. There you go. This is the air conditioned area. The room has been renovated, but it's not the one that you would expect in the city. But somewhat it's been well maintained because I'm sure there are lots of bugs here, supposedly, but not so much so that's kudos to the management but i think what would better improve this resort is for it being what it is uh, it's not a cheap place to come uh, i think we need to train the staff in a better way more international way because for sure there are going to be a lot of foreigners coming here not just Koreans, but Europeans, Americans, Australians, that you name it, they will be here. So some of them, like, who don't know the culture, might be offended because, yeah, it's how it is. I think there's a huge room for improvement, and that improvement will be really cool. We just need better trained people to treat their guests with more manners and also with good vibes energy. And now we're going to go back to the main lobby and if my video suddenly ends here i hope you guys get to experience this one like it's a bit far like three hours from manila i hope you can experience it once but like me like i would want to come back here for my wife once but i think that will be the last as if i mean at least if this is going to be how it's going to be because i've been to better places i'll see you in the next video may your dreams come true please subscribe bye